SAC rate is an abbreviation for surface air consumption rate, which can give us a fairly accurate reading of how much air we will use per minute at a given depth during a dive. RMV rate stands for respiratory minute volume, which essentially does the same thing, just telling us that rate in liters of air consumed rather than bar. These rates can be useful to know in basic no decompression diving, but not entirely mandatory to use. When diving recreationally, we base most of what we do on the pressure reading we see on our SPG. It usually doesn't matter if you go through your air faster than you expected, so long as you keep an eye on your SPG and adjust your dive so you begin your ascent with enough time to come up slowly and make a safety stop at 5 meters. Because we're not exceeding our no decompression limits, it's easy enough to adjust our dive plan, and with that, we don't have to worry as much about planning our gas supply. This differs from technical diving, where we're diving beyond our no decompression limits, and we'll need to carry out a very specific plan in order to complete our dive safely. While tech diving, we must know with 100% certainty that before entering the water, we will have enough gas to complete our planned dive while also considering our reserve and any other potential gas or equipment failures that could happen during the dive. This is where our SAC and RMV rates come into play. So how do we figure this out? Let's start with SAC rate. Prior to making our calculations, we'll need to get in the water and perform a SAC swim. Here, we will swim at a normal, relaxed pace while maintaining a constant depth for at least 10 minutes. We will check our SPGs and mark down our gas pressure at the start of the swim, and again, as we end. So for the purpose of our exercise, let's say we did our sack swim at 20 meters for 10 minutes. We began our swim at 200 bar and ended with 170 bar, meaning we consumed 30 bar of air along the way. So let's start working this information into an equation. In order to calculate our sac rate, we will first need to determine our gas consumption rate at depth. This can be found by taking our total bar used and dividing by our swim time of 10 minutes. We will then divide this by the atmospheric pressure at our given depth of 20 meters. To find this, we will divide 20 by 10 and add 1 to get an answer of 3 atmospheres. This leaves us with 1 bar per minute as our sac rate meaning that at the surface, we would consume one bar of air every one minute. Now that we've figured out our sac rate, we can work backwards to determine how much air we would need at any given depth by multiplying our sac rate by the atmospheric pressure and again, by our dive time. So for example, if we plan to dive to 20 meters for 20 minutes, how much air would be required to do so? We will first input our sac rate of 1 bar per minute and multiply this by the atmospheric pressure at 20 meters, 3 atmospheres. We will then multiply this by our dive time of 20 minutes to get 60 bar as the total amount of air consumed during this dive. So now let's look at RMV. RMV, or respiratory minute volume, measures our air consumed based on volume or liters of air consumed rather than by bar consumed. Knowing our RMV rate will allow us to calculate our rate of consumption based on any tank size or configuration, which makes it a much more useful number than SAC, which will vary based on our cylinder size. Today we will make our calculations based on a standard aluminum 80 scuba tank. This is the most commonly used tank in the world of no decompression diving with a volume of 11.2 liters. Tank volumes are measured in liters of liquid, so at 11.2 liters, our tank should hold about 2,240 liters of air. So in order to calculate our RMV, we will simply multiply our sac rate by the volume of our scuba cylinder used during our sac swim. So with a sac rate of one bar per minute, multiplied by a volume of 11.2 liters, our RMV rate comes out to 11.2 liters of gas consumed per minute. In order to determine the RMV for a given depth and time, we will use the same formula as before, just substituting our SAC number with our RMV number. So for a dive to 20 meters for 20 minutes, you can see that we will consume 672 liters of air along the way. It is important to note that there is no standard or ideal SAC or RMV rates. Consumption rates can vary greatly and will be determined by a variety of different factors including physical fitness, experience, level of comfort in the water, water temperature, and many more. 
Generally, as you build experience as a diver, you will eventually see at least a small improvement in your air consumption. Thanks for watching guys, and be sure to stay tuned for more dive theory from Scuba Lounge. Thank you.